Today is October 30, 2013, 10.35 p.m. Pacific Time. And up next, Rare Hybrid Solar Eclipse Event on November 3rd, 2013. This report was posted by Chili Mongero, other watchers AdoraElli.com, October 31st, 2013. Annual total solar eclipse will sweep over the Atlantic Ocean and the middle of Africa on November 3rd, 2013. The eclipse will be total only along a narrow path over the Atlantic Ocean and equatorial Africa from Gabon to Somalia. Most of Africa, the Middle East, Southern Mediterranean, including Spain, Northern South America, and the Caribbean will see the partial phase of the eclipse. It is the last eclipse this year and also the second solar eclipse and fifth eclipse overall in 2013. This particular eclipse is 23rd of the 72 eclipses in Saros 143 cycle. What makes it more special is that it will be annular eclipse along the first 15 seconds before it transits to a total eclipse phase due the moon's shadow, which will pass close enough to the earth to cover the disk of the sun. Eclipse like this is rare and it's called a hybrid eclipse. And this is your hybrid solar eclipse of November 3rd, 2013. That's a nice illustrative map there. It gives you all the coordinates of the sun, the moon, and external internal context of penumbra and context of umbra. Local circumstances at greatest eclipse are in the center. And that's by nasa.gov. Here's your annual total solar eclipse of November 3rd, 2013 from Michael Seiler. At 10.04 Universal Time, the partial phase of the eclipse begin and after one hour, an annular eclipse follows. After 15 seconds, the eclipse transitions from an annular to a total along its track. The point of greatest eclipse with a maximum duration for totality at 1 minute and 40 seconds starts at 1246 Universal Time, occurring off of the southwest coast of Liberia along the coast of Africa. This is a video by the way. Let's check it out just for a second here. Just show you a little peek of what it looks like. It's an embed video, so you have to come to the website to view it. And you can see the penumbra, area partial eclipse, and the umbra. All right. Short little video there, but it shows you a lot. All right. And as that's running, we're going to move along. This is just about done. And I'm going to let it go for a minute longer here. Okay, and those are the credits for the video. Next we have the Path of Central Eclipse. Northern Limit of Partial Eclipse and Southern Limit of Partial Eclipse as indicated. Eclipse Visibility Path Credit F. S. Pennack. I believe that's the name. Not sure if I pronounced that cor correctly or not. Apologize for that. Local Circumstances for the Hybrid Solar Eclipse of November 3rd, 2013. And it's a timetable. Okay. Xavier Jubeer's Interactive Solar Eclipse Google Map. And this is your annular total solar eclipse of November 3rd, 2013. And there's your eclipse magnitude on the top right hand corner of the map. 
right? The cartographer Michael Zeiler presents detailed maps and graphical information on his website and you can click right there for the detailed maps. You can also watch the Eclipse broadcast on SLU Space Camera by clicking right there or via BRCK live broadcast from the shores of Lake Turkana in Kenya. You can click on any one of those to view a live broadcast. Venus will also be visible at magnitude minus 4.4, just 47 degrees east of the Sun. Alright. And your featured image, Sun and Stage of Full Eclipse, credit, time, and date. Alright. There you are, the last eclipse. If you'd like to check it out on SLU or the other... Uh, what was that one again? Sorry about that, folks. I just want to make sure I have those B R C K. Okay, these links you can watch the live broadcast on either one of those. That's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Pink.